Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today we're going to be talking about all of the ebooks that I downloaded in the month of December. If you are new to my channel, you might not know that I am a total ebook hoarder and I am a sucker for a good deal. So at the end of every month, I talk about all of the Kindle Limited books and free ebooks I was able to download. Some people ask me where I find my free ebooks and by the way, it is all legal. I do not support pirating books whatsoever. So if you want to find books for free legally, like the authors are putting them out on Amazon for free, you can check out my tutorial down below where I walk you through the steps on how to find free ebooks. I have quite a few ebooks to talk about today, so let's get started. I'm first going to be talking about the Kindle Unlimited books that I downloaded in December. First, I have There Arose Such a Clatter, Tales from the Nihilist by C.M. Nascosta. I have read Girls Weekend by this author, and I really enjoyed it, and I downloaded this in December for the holiday season. I don't know if I'm going to be reading this now that it's January, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, I think this will only be in Kindle Unlimited for a short amount of time, so I may just keep it in in my library and read it randomly. I'm not someone who has to read a holiday book during that specific holiday season. Like I can read a Valentine's Day book in August. Like I don't care. Same thing with um, Christmas romances. So who knows, maybe soon I will get in the mood to read this. But all I know about this is that it is a Krampus, which is like an evil Santa like monster romance. This cover is stunning. So I hope, I hope I like it. Our Totally Ridiculous uh, Made Up Christmas Relationship by Brittany Cherry was on my December TBR. Did I get to it? No, and I feel so bad. It's one of the few books that I did not get to in December, but that's okay. Um, She just came out with her uh, other Christmas romance. Her more recent one is uh, Holly Dates. So I can't wait to read both of these Christmas romances. So hopefully I get to both of those soon, but this is like a fake dating relationship during Christmas time, I believe. Another Christmassy one that I saw on TikTok. <laughs> I am on Monster Romance TikTok, okay? I downloaded Frost by Ava Ross. This is her first book in the uh, Stranded with an Alien series. <laughs> Can you like look at this? Like I, I, I love the cover. Iconic. So I think this takes place in a world where like humans know that aliens exist and they are able to travel to other planets. So the heroine is trying to deliver presents to a certain colony that has an orphanage before Christmas. But on her way there, her ship crashes during a snowstorm in an alien forest. And a warrior named Frost saves her. And he's a gruff guy with a heart as lonely as hers. Oh my gosh. Uh, we ride out the storm together. And by the time the sky clears, I'm falling hard for someone I used to consider my enemy. <gasps> Frost promises he'll get me to the orphanage before Christmas, but once we've delivered the presents, will I be able to tell him goodbye? Oh my gosh, this still looks so cute. It's only 158 pages, so I kind of really want to read this now, even though Christmas already happened. Don't judge me. <laughs> and I have my current read. This is Mama, an Alien Warrior by Honey Phillips and uh, Bex McLynn. This is on Kindle Unlimited, and I'm just wanting to read uh, more alien romances, specifically like books to new alien romance series. And I've heard good things about this series, and I read some Honey Phillips in 2022, and they were really enjoyable alien romances. Uh, so, right now, from what I am knowing about this book because I'm currently reading it. Our heroine is kind of like the runner of this like maternity safe house. So she runs basically this place for young women who are pregnant, who are like kicked out of their home or have nowhere to stay. Like they stay in this home that Abby, the heroine has created. Abby also has a four-year-old daughter. All the women in this house, including Abby's daughter and all the babies these girls have had, some of the girls are also pregnant, um, end up getting taken by evil aliens and are going to be sold as breeders. But then they end up getting saved by the good aliens, which is kind of like what the hero on the cover looks like, like these lizard alien creatures. And when they are rescued, these aliens realize that these women are actually some of the crewmen's fated mate. And so far, I'm really liking it. If you're wanting like a sweet, cute, Fade and Mate Insta Love Romance that is just short and sweet. I really recommend this one so far. 
I haven't finished it. So next I have Evil Twin by Katie Wilde. I love Katie Wilde. She is just a short like fantasy romance novella writer. She's also a buddy buddy with Ruby Dixon. So anytime Ruby hypes up an author, I have to read their books and I really enjoy Katie Wilde's writing. One that I haven't read yet is this one. This one's about Bane who is a twin who was born four seconds too late. So his brother is older than him and he is the ruler, he is the king. And apparently he's not a good dude. He's not a du good dude. And then he is claiming another throne through marriage to a princess from a neighboring kingdom. But it's the kingdom that Bane saves. So Bane is like this warrior guy who has been conquering all these lands when his brother's been doing like nothing. He's just sitting on a throne. So Bane has decided that this throne is gonna be his. Like he has deserved it, he's gonna take it. So all he has to do is deceive his twins innocent bride and trick her into his bed. And once he's gotten her pregnant, the woman and the kingdom will be his. And so he doesn't really care about this woman because his plan is not to fall in love with her or to do right by her. He wants this kingdom. But then he obviously, obviously falls for her. This sounds really good. And I love Katie Wilde's writing style. And I love a good like royalty romance. All the rest of the books that I'm talking about for this video are books that I downloaded for free. And I'll let you know what their prices are and whether or not they are still free to download. First, we have The Broken Queen of Shanhassen. Shanhassen? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm really bad at pronunciations. Um, but this is by Jolie Supercard. I immediately saw Jolie Supercard's name and downloaded it because I have read her, a few of her like vampire romance books and I really liked them. So anytime I see an author that I have read from before that I really enjoy their books, I just immediately download the book without reading the summary because I really like the author. This one is still currently free to download. So our heroine in here ends up escaping her kingdom one night. She is the High Queen of Shinhasen and I think the hero in here ends up finding her bleeding and injured after escaping from an unknown captor and she wants no one to know that she is the queen. She wants her identity hidden. So I think she's been with him in this land uh, three years after she escaped. She believes herself to be broken, an empty shell of the queen she could have been, her magic destroyed in the dark cell. She was kidnapped before she escaped, apparently. But Jaqen has never been able to forget her. He even remained behind in her country when the Keldar envoy returned to the deserts of his homeland just to occasionally see her again when she visits her stable. He's willing to do anything to help her overcome the terror of her captivity, even if the horse master must bring his whip whoa did not expect that so i am mistaken i thought she was like with him for three years so you know he saves her and then she forms like a new identity and i guess not with him but maybe in the same town as him and he stays behind just to get glimpses of her every single day so i mean that sounds like a grand old time i love the idea of like a hidden queen identity oh i also downloaded how the duke saved christmas by anna harrington but this was a download off of libby so technically it was free for me this was a christmas romance i read last year with a heroine who has a disability she's not able to walk anymore and this is her second chance romance with her previous fiance who she cut things off with shortly after her accident because she felt like she'd be a burden and while they're stuck in his house together during a snowstorm during Christmas time, he shows her that she is totally worth everything and she is a blessing in his life. I love this one. I also downloaded The Beast's Bet by Eva Devin. This is available on Kindle Limited right now. It's not free anymore. So Tom Courtney is a beast of the East End fighting his way up through the Warrens, clubs, and halls of sin in London's darkest part of town. He has but one goal, to survive and ensure that the weak aren't preyed upon. When he discovers a young lady is a victim of a vicious bet, he cannot stop himself from coming to her aid, even if it might cost him everything he's ever won. That's very ominous. <laughs> I don't really know what that means. Um, but I think I've heard good things about this author, so that's the main reason why I downloaded it. Okay, I saw this cover and this book and saw it was for free. I had to get it. Do y'all not know me? This is Snowed In with an Alien by Ava Ross. <laughs> I have liked Ava Ross's books. I think I read a few by her. And I just saw this cover and this title. Jenny, over the summary. I was like, you're coming home with me. You're gonna be mine. <laughs> this is not free anymore, but it is on Kindle Unlimited. So it looks like Ada is wanting to uh, give her three-year-old niece like a perfect Christmas. And I think like her father has custody of her niece and she thinks it's not a good situation for her to be in. So she grabs her 
and uh, runs away with her. But her daring escape to a mountain cabin during a freak blizzard lands her in trouble. And so she's stuck in the cabin with like no hope of doing like this big Christmas celebration. But then when she's in the mountains, like escaping, trying to get to this cabin, she ends up across this wounded alien warrior. And I think they ride out the storm together and she ends up picturing the future with the niece and him. And also the the hero in here, um, I think his name's Trexon. He ends up like really falling for Ada and the child and just wanting to make their Christmas perfect. And this just sounds so cute and sweet. I love a good sweet alien romance, especially if it's Christmas related and if it's a snowed intro, that's like an added plus. I also downloaded Hunted by the Alien Warrior by uh, Kyra Snow for free. This is not free anymore, but you can download it off of Kindle Unlimited. Ooh, this summary is ominous as well you have he hunted me he captured me now he vows to make me his bride for three years i've been stuck on this alien planet three years of protecting my sister from the brutal zorian warlords three years and i never considered what i'd do if one of them chose me now i belong to the fearsome leader of the oracus oracus <laughs> the oracus desert tribe but i'm not just his prisoner i'm his azari his queen and he says i will warm his bed each and every night that gives me Captive of the Horde King vibes for sure. That sounds so good. Another free one that I got was Ruthless Saints by Ella Jade. This is not free anymore, but you can download it off of Kindle Unlimited. Ooh, it looks like this is a mafia romance. Okay, this is about Luciana and she is the bargaining chip because she's like a lowly cousin in this mafia family. And her uncle uh, is going to use her to make an alliance with the Bilatoli family. And she's absolutely terrified to be sold off as this perfect bride, especially to uh, Romero, who uh, is known to be very cruel. I think her uncle uh, wants her to be, like be a spy for the family too. But then once she gets to know Romero and his world, she quickly realizes that he owns her down to her every breath. And so despite her reasons for being there, she can't help but like how it feels. <laughs> oh my goodness. She might be falling for him, but is she just another prized possession one to a man who gets everything he wants? Or is she more than a pawn in this dangerous game that she ever realized? And if Romero really wants her to belong to him, what will he do when he learns the truth? If Luciana thought saying no to her family would be a deadly mistake, just wait until Romero finds out she's only there to set him up. Wow. <laughs> that sounds like another mafia romance that I've read. But I don't want to say what it is because like her spyness is like a secret. So I don't want to say that. But that sounds really good as well. I, I haven't read a good mafia in a while. So uh, let me know if you've read this one. Ooh, I saw that E.M. Lindsay had a book available to download for free. So this is To Touch the Light. E.M. Lindsay writes a lot of disability representation in their books. Uh, I read one of their books and enjoyed it. And so I just saw this one and needed to get it. This is, I believe, like a holiday-ish romance. This is about Mario, who is a head chef and he doesn't really have great holiday spirit. Um, it says that he is estranged from his family. Oh my gosh, I'm just reading this, okay. <laughs> what most people don't realize, however, is that Chef Mario has a soft spot for one man, a half-blind Russian dishwasher who was the first person in years to make Mario feel. That sounds so cute. Oh my gosh. E.M. Lindsay writes a lot of male male romances. Also, I read, I think the first book in the series, like the main book in the series, I think this is like a novella. And that just sounds so stinking cute. Oh, I need to pick this up now. I also downloaded The Marriage Jinx for free. This is a sweet small town romantic comedy by Krista Norman. This is not available to download for free anymore, but it is on KU. Ooh, okay. I like these. So this is apparently like one of the situations where these two best friends like made a pact with each other that um, if they don't get married by the time they're 30, they'll just marry each other. Um, but it turns out it made like their whole like love lives like jinxed. <laughs> Ever since they signed their names on the dotted line, our dating lives have been one catastrophe after another. That can't be a coincidence, right? <laughs> and so I think they're both trying to be in these respective relationships, but horrible things are happening. So they're trying to, I guess, fix the jinx and they fall in love with each other while they do that. Sounds really cute. Ooh, I saw Heat Haven by Sarah Blue was for free for like one day and snagged it immediately. This is not free anymore, but you can download it off of Kindle Unlimited. I've heard really good things about Sarah Blue as like a monster romance or like Omegaverse author. I'm a little nervous. I didn't even read the summary for this one, but if this is a why choose romance, oh, I'm gonna be 
a little sad, but let me read the summary. Oh, I don't think it is. Okay, it's, there's only two people in here. I see Emily and Griffin. I think like our heroine is an Omega who goes into heat and uh, Griffin here ends up like helping her through that, I guess. So I don't want to know too much, but I was just checking to see if this was uh, a why choose romance because I've learned after a Lady of Rook's Grave Manor that those aren't for me. So I need to, I've, I've learned my lesson, you know? And the last ebook that I ended up downloading is Spending Yulemas with the Highlander by Lydia Kendall. This is still available to download for free. Ooh, apparently this is a medieval historical romance. I don't get a lot of those. I don't read a lot of those. I don't have a lot of those. Heather's spirit cannot be crushed, not even after she gets shipped off to Scotland to marry a brute Highlander. And when she sees that his castle is drab, she decides to bring the Yulma spirit, even if it's forbidden. Laird Tobias might be cold-hearted, but the new wife of his might be able to melt the ice around his heart. Soon he realizes that he would do anything his wife asks of him and kill anyone who dares cross her. Ooh. I love me a Highlander romance. Like, give me a Scotsman any day. Love it. And especially, like, a short Christmas one. Hopefully I can read this one soon. Anyways, there you have it. That was my December ebook haul. Please let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me a wolf emoji in the comment section down below. Anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.